66 million years ago, Earth was silenced. In a geological blink, three out of every four species vanished. Towering dinosaurs, apex predators, ancient forests, gone. But what followed was not emptiness. It was reinvention. From the ashes of mass extinction, a new world was born. One ruled not by monsters of scale, but by resilience, adaptation, and the quiet persistence of life. This is not just a story of survival. It's a tale of transformation. From the rise of giant mammals that dwarfed modern elephants, to killer beasts that stalked the ancient plains of North America, to the unlikely journey that led to the first humans. This is Earth after the dinosaurs, a forgotten empire waiting to be unearthed. In the wake of extinction, Earth was quiet, but not for long. 66 million years ago, a mass extinction reshaped the planet. Dinosaurs, the rulers of Earth for over 150 million years, vanished almost overnight. What remained was a wounded world, scarred, empty, and eerily still. But nature doesn't mourn for long. It adapts. It moves forward. In the void left behind, mammals stepped out of the shadows. Small, nimble, and warm-blooded, they had survived what the giants could not and now they had the stage to themselves. This new age began with the Paleocene Epoch, the first chapter of the Cenozoic Era. Earth was warmer, covered in thick tropical forests from pole to pole. There were no ice caps, no grasslands, only vast jungles teeming with opportunity. The continents were still drifting, shaping the world we recognize today. North and South America were divided by ocean, India was charging toward Asia, Africa and Europe had yet to meet. In this rewilding planet, life was reinventing itself. With the dinosaurs gone, ecological roles were up for grabs. Mammals began to evolve into forms never seen before. They grew larger, smarter, faster. The forests became a cradle of evolution. One of the earliest rising stars was the Miacid, a small tree-dwelling predator. It looked like a cross between a marten and a civet, but its legacy is enormous. From this little creature would descend lions, wolves, bears, even domestic dogs and cats. But the most surprising evolutionary story was unfolding in the water. In the warm coastal wetlands of ancient Earth, a hoofed land animal began to explore the shallows. These were the Archaeocetes, ancestors of modern whales. They didn't look like whales at all. Imagine an animal shaped like a stocky wolf, with webbed feet and a long snout. They still breathed air, but their limbs and lungs were slowly adapting to life in the water. This was the first chapter in a journey that would eventually lead to orcas, blue whales, and dolphins. As the Paleocene gave way to the Eocene epoch around 56 million years ago, Earth's biodiversity exploded. The continents moved closer to their modern positions. India finally collided with Asia, and from that monumental crash, the Himalayas were born. New creatures appeared. Some were familiar. Others were terrifyingly new. Towering above the predators of this age was Andrews Arcus, the largest land-dwelling mammalian carnivore ever discovered. Its skull alone was nearly three feet long. With a bite stronger than any modern land predator, it roamed the ancient coastlines as a top-tier scavenger and hunter. But perhaps the most important transformation of all was unseen. Brains were getting bigger. Intelligence was slowly becoming a survival tool. This was no longer the world of brute strength. It was the dawn of something more, a world where adaptation, not domination, would determine the future. The age of mammals had truly begun. By now, Earth was no longer healing. It was growing bold, 
As the Eocene gave way to the Oligocene epoch around 34 million years ago, the climate shifted once again. The warm, lush forests that had blanketed the planet began to retreat. In their place, endless prairies and open grasslands stretched to the horizon. For the first time since the age of dinosaurs, Earth's surface was open and exposed. This new landscape called for new life, faster, larger, more specialized. The age of the mammalian giants had arrived. In Central Asia, a creature emerged that redefined what land mammals could become. It was called Paraceratherium, also known as Indricotherium. This colossal herbivore, a distant relative of today's rhino, stood nearly 16 feet tall at the shoulder and could raise its head up to 23 feet high, taller than a two-story house. It weighed over 20 tons, making it the largest land mammal to ever walk the earth. Unlike its horned modern relatives, it had no armor, no tusks, just a long neck, powerful limbs, and a trunk-like snout for pulling down tree leaves. And yet, despite its size, it left behind no complete skeleton. Its story lives on only in scattered bones, and in the myths it may have inspired. But this was no gentle age. While Indricotherium roamed the plains, terrifying new predators also evolved. One of the most fearsome was the Entelodont, nicknamed the Hell Pig. Don't let the name fool you, this was no pig. It stood over six feet tall, weighed more than a ton, and had a jaw that could snap bone like a twig with teeth like a crocodile and the frame of a wild boar crossed with a bear. The Intelodont wasn't just a scavenger, it was a hunter and a fast one. Prehistoric horses, small mammals, even other predators, nothing was safe. Meanwhile, deep in the oceans, another monster hunted silently. The warm seas of the Neogene period, beginning around 23 million years ago, were home to Megalodon, the largest shark to ever exist. Up to 60 feet long, with teeth the size of a human hand, it ruled the waters for millions of years. For anything swimming beneath the waves, from whales to seals, the sea was no refuge. Back on land, more changes were underway. Africa collided with Europe, giving birth to the Alps. Antarctica froze over for the first time, beginning Earth's modern cycle of glaciation. The planet was cooling, environments were diversifying, and life was adapting faster than ever. From deserts to tundras, from oceans to mountains, mammals were expanding into every corner of Earth. Some would thrive, others, even the mighty, would vanish. But the stage was now set for the final act of this incredible story the rise of the most unpredictable species Earth has ever known. By now, the Earth looked familiar, but the story was far from over. Roughly 2.5 million years ago, a new chapter began, one defined not by towering mammals or roaring predators, but by adaptation, migration, and rising intelligence. This was the Quaternary Period, and it brought with it a climate that never stayed still. Ice ages, droughts, warm spells, and sudden freezes. Polar ice caps expanded, seas retreated, forests turned into deserts. And in the middle of it all, something extraordinary happened. A new kind of animal emerged, one that would change the planet forever. In Africa, the first Homo species began to appear. They walked upright, they shaped tools, they hunted together, and they learned quickly. But they were not alone. At that time, Earth was still home to incredible giants, the final echoes of a once wild world. In South America, there was the Megatherium, the giant ground sloth. As big as a modern elephant and equipped with massive claws, it was powerful but slow. When early humans crossed into its territory, the sloth stood little chance against fire and sharp flint spears. In Asia, a creature stalked the forests unlike any we've seen since. The Gigantopithecus, standing up to 10 feet tall and weighing over 1,000 pounds, this massive ape towered over early humans. It likely walked on all fours and fed mostly on bamboo, but some fossil sites suggest it was omnivorous, 
and clever. Still, its size may have been its downfall. As climate shifted and food sources vanished, humans moved in and Gigantopithecus disappeared. In Australia, massive marsupials called Diprotodons, the largest of their kind, once roamed the grassy coasts. Imagine a wombat the size of a hippo. They grazed peacefully until human settlers arrived. Within a few thousand years, they were gone too. Species by species, continent by continent, the giants fell. Some scientists blame climate change, others overhunting. But one fact remains, wherever humans arrived, extinction followed close behind. And yet, that was only the beginning. As Homo sapiens spread across the planet, they didn't just hunt, they built, they mined, they drilled, they cleared forests, they split atoms, they reached space. But in that climb, something was lost. In just a few centuries, humanity has driven more species to extinction than nature did in millions of years. Entire ecosystems have collapsed, the air is warming, the seas are rising. Today, scientists warn of a sixth mass extinction, not from an asteroid or volcano or ice age, but from us. The question isn't whether Earth will survive. It always has. The question is, will we? Because every time life has been pushed to the brink, it's come back stronger, stranger, and more unstoppable than before. And if history has taught us anything, it's that Earth never stops evolving.